All right, guys, so we are going to show how to do the dip liquids really quick because we've been getting questions on that top coat. So I'm gonna walk through the directions because I just did a sample and was able to get the top coat shiny. So we're gonna walk through that together. So the first thing you do, I'm gonna be using uh, our samples liquids. Um, but you're gonna apply that base coat just like you normally do. Okay, and then in between this, you would be doing every single finger until the timer totals about four to five minutes and this turns hard. So we're gonna pause and come back. Okay, so we let it dry and now we're gonna dust it off. Okay, and we're gonna apply base coat again. Okay, so I can see that my brush has got a tiny little area that's hard, but I'm just going to stick it in the brush saver when we're done. But it's good enough that I can finish this. Okay. Wipe it off. Really good. And then we're going to lay it in the powder and we're going to let it dry again. Okay, so now we put that second coat on. We are going to dust it off. Okay, then we're going to apply activator. We're gonna make sure we get it really good. So you gotta really apply a decent amount. Make sure it's nice and soaked in there. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry for two minutes. Okay, so we're almost at two minutes, probably about 15 seconds away, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And now what I'm gonna do is just shape and file, just as if I was doing my real nail. crazy but I'm pretending that it's my real now that's why okay so from here we're gonna do another activator okay make sure it's really saturated if I need more do more 
and now we're going to wait two minutes and come back. Okay, so we've waited for two minutes. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to do really quick sloppy swipes. Boom, two. You're then going to wipe off your brush really good so you don't get any activator on it at all. Okay, and then you're going to wait two minutes for this to dry. Okay, it's been two minutes, so now we're going to go back in and we're going to do a really, this is where you'd come back in and you'd do a really good job and make sure you got everything you needed. So that then it looks pretty. And then, of course, before you put it in the jar, you wipe it off. Make sure that way if there's any activator, you are not getting any of that back in the jar. Okay, and then you put that back in the jar. So we're letting that nail dry. And then I had my other brush who I could see that was starting to harden. But I put it in the um, brush saver and I just really worked the bristles gently with a um, lint free wipe and then got all that brush saver liquid out because I know that it can make your, um, I always feel like it can make your liquids a little gooey. And now I have a fresh brush with no hardening, okay? So that's what that brush saver is for. I just soaked it in. I kept taking it out. I really scrubbed the bristles. And now my base coat is perfect all over again. So we'll put that back in the jar. We're going to let this sit here. But so far, as you can see, it's looking perfect. It's looking really shiny. So we just need to give it a couple minutes. Sometimes what I have noticed is it can even take a little bit longer to dry. So don't be impatient. Let's just let this dry and I'll come back on camera. Okay, so make sure you can see, but that is shiny, if we can see in the light. And then this was the one I tested before I got on camera, and that's also shiny. And this one's shiny as well. So it can be a little tricky to get that top coat. My first time, I, had, I was getting cloudiness. I know not everybody is. Some people are doing great, but some are getting that little bit of cloudiness. So what I learned is I literally set a timer on my phone and um, it's helped a ton. Thanks.